This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show. Recently, OC Weekly did a cover story celebrating the 20 year anniversary of the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show on cable television. I want to personally thank all of the dedicated viewers for the last 20 years. Please continue to spread the word and subscribe to the show on YouTube. Tonight, interviewing rockers on the red carpet for the Ronnie James Dio Stand Up and Shout Cancer Fund's second annual Bowl for Ronnie event. Hello, sir. Oh, that was great. That was Craig, great. you. Eric Blair. Uh, yes, it was long time no see, my I friend. The Wacken Open Air Festival. Tell me how exciting and oh satisfying that was for you with the hologram. Well, for one thing, it was so weird to have to try to tell people it's hard to believe that something in heavy metal could be um, confidential. What, what's going on? I can't tell you. It's confidential. That was one thing. Keeping it quiet for that length of time, I can't believe we were able to do that. And then on top of it all, Ronnie was gay. Sacred Heart Tour, Dream Evil Tour. You know, Ronnie brought a, a, an 18 foot fire breathing dragon. There were nights when, I mean, the fire, it was real fire, lasers, explosions, Dream Evil, the, the spider that would come down, I'd shoot the lasers out of my guitar and explosions. Now, he didn't hike up the prices. He cut his profit margin in half to give back. He gave. So that's what we tried to do with Wacken. You know, so many bands, you know, and there's no, at no fault of their own, is drums and amps and guitars and that's it. But what we did is we had an opportunity to put a big stage together again with the lighting director that we worked with back on the Sacred Heart Tour. And we gave them a gift. We gave them the same reason, but what we gave them was Ronnie. And that, to, to me, I think that was awesome. And what was it like for you to look over and see a hologram of Ronnie James Dio? Well, it was hard. I don't. If you notice, I rarely looked over because you know, I mean, that man, he was our family, and so it was. It was very surreal, and uh, it's hard to explain. What do you think Ronnie James Dio would think of the political landscape today? Well, oh my God, I, I think a um, political landscape, I think uh, a comedian put it really good. Um, because of our choices, he goes, it's almost like America's been given, you know, four years to live. <laughs> We've been handed a death sentence, yeah. and we have four years to live. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how do you choose between those two? Well, yeah. It's, and he it, would have a field day with this. Yeah, a whole album. Right? He would have a field day. Now, he, yeah, not only would he, not only would, would he see it for what it is, but he has got such a, you know how smart he was. Yeah. I mean, dear Lord. Hyper. What do you think he would be doing right now? Uh, writing songs about it and being very vocal about yeah. it. Now, now, one of the things that I'm, I'm curious about is that you have the, you're in the Dio Disciples, but then you have Vivian Campbell's uh, Dio project that he's doing, and he seems to be very bitter about the whole thing. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, my, first of all, you know they were the original lineup, so I understand that they feel that they have every right to do that. I understand that too. You know, I I loved what Vivian and those guys created. You know, Holy Diver, Last in Line, Sacred Heart. That, to me, you know, that's why some, a lot of the times when we're doing Rainbow in the Dark or, or Don't Talk to Strangers or Last in Line, I play his solos note for note, but just with a little bit of a flavor of my own because I honestly love what they gave and what they did. Uh, I, I hate the fact that there's so much bitterness still. You know, I wish that it would just be, it's a family. You know, just let it go. That's right, just let it go. Could, would you, could you imagine if everyone who's ever been in this band got together for like a worst stars type of thing? Everybody? You know, we lost our opportunity with Jimmy. Uh, what are we going to do? Is he going to wait until he dies before he says, you know, okay, you know, I'm sorry, Ronnie was great. I mean, what is he hanging on to and why? I don't know, I don't know why he's bitter. I, I mean, he he's had an, a, an awesome career, thanks to Ronnie James Dio. Yeah. I mean, Def Leppard. And I know Ronnie, and I, I, I can't imagine him being 
I don't know what happened between those two, but I can't imagine that it was that vile for him to hang on to that. I mean, some people just hold a grudge, and I think that, may, you know, I love Vivian Campbell's music, and, and I don't know, for all I know, Vivian Campbell might be a wonderful human being who just happens to be one of those guys who holds on to a grudge. That's all it seems like. He just seems determined to hold on to a grudge. You have to learn to forgive and forget and get on with your life. Forgive. Let's forgive. That's what I think. Craig Goldie, God bless you. Have a great night. Long live rock and roll and long live Ronnie, Ronnie James Dio. Show.